Hello. Um, thank you for choosing this room. Um, as you see, I'm not uh, Gregoire. And if you expect that uh, he's going to present, I'm sorry, you was going to be disappointed. Uh, first, a few words about uh, Bruges. That's because uh, I know you already know very well Bruges, but maybe one or two persons never heard about it. So, first, Bruges is a web GIS platform which allows to consult uh, geographic and textual data, uh, provide from different authentic sources, and put them in relation. It, uh, this da those data reflect the regulatory framework in, uh, for urban planning and in uh, Brussels capital region. Uh, Bruges is also a team uh, for people me uh, and three others guy, um, Gregoire, Eng, and uh, Laurence. Oh, she's a girl, <laughs> sorry. Uh, they are all here. And uh, we are a multidisciplinary team specialized in uh, geometrics. We work for a public interest organization, uh, Brussels uh, Planning and Heritage, and uh, the service we de develop serve not only the public administration, but uh, also the citizens. Um, that's why um, already a few years ago we begin to... Um, yes, sorry. Uh, already a few years ag ago, we begin uh, to use open source uh, technologies so we can offer uh, a best possible tool, um, keeping the cost uh, as low as possible. You know how it's worked for a public uh, service. Okay. Our la uh, latest development, uh, according to this vision, it's a web uh, tool under QGIS that can uh, ensure a consistent and controlled production flow of databases, special databases, uh, that we publish under uh, Bruges platform. Uh, but our business is publishing, not uh, producing special data. Other departments of our organization or other uh, interest, uh, public interest um, uh, organization are the authentic sources of the data that we publish. Uh, that's why BDM is born. Uh, we need a tool which uh, permits to produce the data, uh, to let the uh, producer of the data, the authentic source, to integrate and update the data uh, without uh, direct on connection to our database. Uh, BDM uh, allow us to su uh, simply supervise the workflow of integrate, modify and publish data, and let the authentic sources to do their jobs. The BDM tool is the only way to upgrade Bruges data. Addition is performed in an exclusive uh, mode. The, the layer in addition is passed through three different states. Check-in, the layer is available for modification. Check-out, the layer was already borrowed for modification and only the first user can modify. And staging, the modify layer was uh, published in the staging database. Oh, um, I forgot to tell you, but um, the BDM tool, it was developed by a Walloon nat native speaker. The text of the slide was written by a French native speaker. Uh, the PowerPoint presentation uh, was made by a 
Dutch native speaker. I'm a Romanian native speaker. I tell you this in, in English, but I confess it's a little bit Chinese for me, beginning from here. Uh, you too? Okay, I hope uh, my colleagues <laughs> will answer the questions that you have at the end. So, the plugin, it's uh, uh, working um, with uh, under QGIS and uh, the BDM um, access uh, transmit uh, from the, the message from the plugin uh, to GeoServer who really do the works. Um, I really don't know exactly how to, to uh, explain you uh, this, but uh, it's work with um, uh, Django API and uh, messages that uh, the Geo server uh, receives. Uh, this is the structure of uh, our database and uh, the, the way of uh, uh, publishing. Um, I know every night a copy of our intranet database it's uh, copied in staging and on uh, internet database. And um, uh, the local sh scheduler makes um, a copy of the local scripts in each environment. Now, uh, we, we create this, uh, this tool to have an easy way uh, for the authentic source uh, to create their uh, data. Um, I'm the first user, do you know, the, the breaker user, because my colleagues let me try, uh, try it and um, see if it works. And uh, we arrive at the conclusion that the tool is working and it's okay. I uh, teach the other uh, user uh, of our organization, for example, to use uh, this tool, but there are people, they never used uh, QGIS, so uh, they need to uh, publish the data without knowing QGIS. So we create um, a very simple tool. Okay, it's two little um, tools. The first, it's BDM admin. This is our tool, the administrator, and it permits us to create a new user to modify uh, some parameters and uh, to allow uh, for modification a set of uh, layers, a specific layer to each user. So I'm going to do a new user. Okay, it's important to fill uh, also the email. Why? Because the, uh, the tool communicates each time there are uh, important steps to do. Okay, now I create the user and I'm gonna try to find some uh, this is direct, it's uh, our database here, so uh, find something uh, to test. Not breaking down something important. Okay. So I see here all the layer I, I give to AZRT. Now, the, the user can connect. And he see directly 
the layer he has right to, to modify. Uh, as I say before, there are three states of the, of the layers, check-in, check-out, and staging. To can modify a layer, it has to be check-in uh, or check-out, but it had to be me who, who take this layer to first to modify. So this layer, if I want to modify now, I cannot, and you see, no tool, it's available, uh, because somebody else is modifying now. So I'm gonna take this one, and here, a tool, edit, it's available. It makes a copy of a layer and it put in a temporal place and now I can see it and if I want I can modify. I will try to add an object. It work with uh, Snipe. Uh, um, Yes, a snap, but uh, here below it's a WMS, so So when I do um, the modification, don't forget to save. And as I told you, the, 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 the layer, it's now check out by Azerty. Uh, it's a good uh, um, usual, it's good to do a validate. So uh, we are sure that uh, the layer, it's uh, still um, correct uh, a point of a point of view of uh, topological. There are no uh, self-cross object or uh, double point. Uh, when we are happy with um, all the modification we, we do, uh, we send it in a staging database by doing submit. And in a few seconds, okay, the layer now is staging. If I want to take it, it's not possible. The, the only tool is undo submit, and that permits me to take the layer again and continue the modification. Or um, tomorrow we have um, laboratory bridges where we can see uh, when, when we can vi visualize the, the modification we we do, and. Uh, once we agree, we send uh, to the administrator, uh, us, Bruges, a mail, and says, okay, this layer you can publish. So the administrator, he takes the, the user and he see, oh, sorry. Okay, this layer, it's in staging. He says, uh, you can publish, so I publish. And now, the layer, it's again check-in. Somebody uh, else who need uh, do changing uh, on this uh, layer, he can use it. Me also. Uh, after 24 hours, I go to Bruges and uh, show you Bruges. And he gonna see um, the modification he has, he has done. Uh, why we do that? Um, it's, it's important that uh, people uh, use the same tools and uh, create the data in the same way. It's easy for us to, to, to publish. And uh, we think it's a good tool. Okay, here I talk about uh, BD admin. Okay, it's created by a command. Um, they are directly forward to the proxy. I think you know what's a proxy. 
Me neither. Uh, me not. Sorry. Okay. Uh, BDM editor. It's um, also a graphical user interface. Also used it by uh, implemented by Django proxy. So. Uh, our tool, we think it's a good tool because uh, it's quite easy. It's our developer, he says. It's easy to, to change the, uh, the environment. To, he says it's a solution mature and stable. And we recently uh, migrate from uh, QGIS 2 to QGIS 3. And uh, okay, we do in an acceptable time, the, the changes. But, well, sometimes there are problems, there are lags in the documentation, and if there are problems, uh, it's difficult to find exactly where uh, the problem is. So, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> if you have questions, um, I'll try to answer if I can, but if not, uh, my colleagues are here. And the questions. Myself, as uh, a member of the QGIS team, I'm pleased to see uh, it's used in Brussels, in the very heart of Europe, so it's <laughs> nice to see. <laughs> but are there any questions? Yes. Hey, I'm curious how you ended to have this diverse team. You said that you have colleagues from all around Europe, and I'm curious how you created the, the, the this team. Diversity of languages? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, we all meet in Brussels, <laughs> that's all. I guess Brussels is used to many languages, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's why. Any other questions or remarks? Well, if you are interested, we are here, so uh, maybe later we can talk and explain you exactly how the tool is done. Okay. Thank you. So we'll have a couple of minutes to change, uh, prepare, because uh, that's good, actually, because we need to switch laptops again, and <laughs> who knows what happens. <laughs>